Hey there, it's JT Smith here, and today I'm going to teach you how to generate plenty of emails for your email list using uh, Facebook groups. And to do this, we're going to use a tool called Group Leads. Um, you can find it in the description, and basically that tool will pull the leads as people are signing up for your Facebook group and automatically put it in a, fa in a Google Sheet um, or into your email marketing platform. Actually, it'll do both if you uh, set it up correctly. Basically, we don't need to use our browser today because this is a pretty simple explanation. I'm gonna give you the overview, and then I might do a video later on how to actually go in and set up the group and use group leads, but I think most of these things are pretty self-explanatory these days on how to do. Um, so let's just start from the top. First of all, you're gonna need a Facebook group, and actually that's gonna be the, the first step you take, but before that, you're gonna to need to think of a niche to, to be in. You might already have a niche that you're in. Um, so I chose a topic and then using that topic, I created a group that the title was Topic Memes. Um, and so you don't have to do a meme group if you don't want to, you can come up with another creative way for people to connect. But I've found that people who are really passionate about a topic also wanna see all of the most clever memes and humor about that topic it's a very easy way to get people to sign up for that group. Now, one thing you can do is set the group to public. That way when someone posts something or shares something or likes something in the group, it can be discovered by their friends and family. Now, you don't have to do that. It's just easier to get organic growth when you do that. Um, and then you can also set it to requires admin approval so that even though your group is public and people can find it and see all the content, people can't comment or post their own things in the group until they sign up. And a lot of people will want to comment on your posts because they are in that niche themselves um, and, and memes are often controversial or something that makes people want to comment. So that's basically the concept behind what kind of group you should set up. Now, how you should market it, that's completely up to you. Uh, there are some good articles online if you search for Facebook group growth um, anything like that, how to market a Facebook group, you can find some great stuff on that. Um, in general, what you'll want to do is post quite a bit of content yourself um, in that niche. And then uh, eventually, if you have enough members, I think typically you want 100 active members and then the growth will be organic. So at, at this point, my group, I don't have to post anything and people are posting in there for me. Um, and so the growth is completely organic in my group and it's working out really well for me. I'm getting probably 100 signups a day, and maybe of those 100, about 40 or 50 of them are putting in their emails. So let's talk about how you do an email signup on the Facebook group. So whenever you are going into your admin settings on the Facebook group, there are there's a section where you can ask your users questions. And so you, you can ask them anything in those questions. You can create a multiple choice. Um, you can create a free form response, which is what you'll need for your email. I recommend asking a question about you know, do you really fit in this niche? So if you are doing uh, underwater basket weaving memes, then you will put a question, the first question that says, um, do you like underwater basket weaving or have you ever tried underwater basket? This is a terrible example because no one's tried that, but um, put that as the first question. And then the second question, you'll want something like, hey, just so you have updates on when the group is moved or changed in any way, um, and that we can reach out to you if there are any questions or problems in the group, put in your email address below. And you can make it even more clear and say below that, um, we will not approve you unless you put your email address or you don't have to be that aggressive. You can just kind of let the group grow and hope that you end up with emails um, voluntarily. Ultimately, this video is not about uh, adminning a group, although that is important how you do that to grow your email list. This group is ultimately about how we extract those emails and use them. And so that's where groupleads.net uh, is the website, but you can find my link in the description for any discounts or anything that happens to come through that link. Um, and basically what group leads will do is it's a extension. It'll open up your member request page on your Facebook group and it'll automatically um, pull up. Well, first of all, it'll automatically approve members based on the settings you put. Um, but more importantly, when someone is approved, whether you do it manually, because a lot of people will want to manually approve people for their group, but you don't want to sit there and manually copy and paste the email, the name, and all the form fields into a Google Sheet or your email platform. Instead, when you manually or automatically approve a member, group leads will pull that 
information um, and it'll, pretty much it'll pull every data point that is possibly available um, when the user joined Facebook, um, when they requested to join your group, and then the other like questions, whether it's email or uh, your first question or your third question. So basically pulls all those data points into a Google Sheet. And then if you have an email platform set up, personally, I have ConvertKit set up, but uh, I'll talk about that in a minute. You have any platform set up, it'll pull the, the leads from your group automatically whenever you approve and throw them into that system. So it's immediately done um, at the point of approval. And of course, it can automatically do that for you. So I haven't seen any other extension or anything like that set up for groups. Um, obviously, this is something you'll do once you have a few members of your group uh, because you don't really need an automated software if you only are getting like one member a day or something. But as your group grows, you're going to start getting 10, 20, and then you might even get to the point where I'm at where I'm getting 100. Or if you're lucky, your group will go viral. And at that point, you definitely want to make sure you have all of your questions installed beforehand and you have your process of groupleads.net set up uh, so that you don't miss out on a huge wave of emails. So uh, that's what I recommend. That's how you do it. Now, what do you do with those emails? So most people will get angry at you if you just start spamming them like ads and, and stuff like that. So what I recommend is just pulling a couple of the best posts from the group, maybe old posts that the people who are new won't discover um, because they're new. So pull some of the old stuff and then email that to people and say, hey, this is old. You probably missed it, but I think you'll enjoy this content. Um, and you know, thank you for subscribing. And then you can throw in some links or some monetization below that if you want. Um, but ultimately you just need to engage people, get them opening your emails, get their email software, um, basically trusting your email address by sending content that they want in the beginning. And so uh, I use ConvertKit for this because it's very easy to create. Basically, it's easy to create funnels um, and segments of users based on, you could even do it based on like if you have a, a group that's about a kind of broader topic like um, uh, arts and crafts or like Etsy users, then you can create a, like one of your questions can be, you know, what kind of crafts are you doing? Are you um, creating clothing? Are you creating... Um, you know, wooden trinkets, what are you doing? And so based on that information, you can segment them automatically in ConvertKit so you can send them through slightly different funnels or insert dynamically content that is more relevant to that user. Um, and that, that'll help you your email list if you have that sort of specification. My group, honestly, it doesn't have that specification. It's all about one very specific topic. And so I just have everybody go into my main list. But depending on what emails those people open or what links those people click in my emails, I can then funnel them into different pathways. And basically, let me tell you the numbers. I'm getting, uh, like I said, 40 to 50 emails a day at the moment. It might slow down in the future. It might speed up. But right now it's pretty, pretty fast. The emails are pouring in. And so my list is up to about 2000 right now on ConvertKit of people who are interested in one specific topic. And therefore, I know exactly what I can send them to monetize the list with affiliate links or um, you know links to my own content that then they can uh, pursue and, and grow and all that stuff. So hopefully uh, this is something a topic that is interesting to you. And if so, leave a, a like on the video if you enjoyed and more importantly, subscribe if you want more content like this. Have a nice day.